you know, why do you think black sitcoms kind of like also kind of like disappeared over time? Why do you think we stopped seeing them less from your vantage point? Because they were very impactful to our community and they gave messages, but why we stopped seeing them? Yeah, I don't know why. I, I don't know why. Yeah. I don't, I, I, I don't know why. So maybe lack of talent. I mean, like when me and Martin did our things, you know, it was relying on, you know, us being funny. The scripts were only, can give you only so much. You know what I mean? You have an interview and this guy interviews you, but you know, this is it, but you have to make it funny. So I think, you know, I, I don't know why, you know, I'm, I'm sure the streaming, you know, has decimated the sitcom. I think funny is it's funny. Mm -hmm. I think funny is funny. I think there's a, you know, I don't want to say a lack of funny, but, you know, back in the day, if you look at sitcoms and the history of sitcoms, the person that lead that sitcom was a special person. He was funny. He was gifted. You know, he had physical movements. You know, not physical, I shouldn't say that, but he was, if you look back at the history of sitcoms and the stars of them, and, you know, they were, they, no matter what the script was, mm -hmm. They could drive that based Copy. on their persona. You know what I mean? Right. You know, right. All if you look at all scripts on TV, they're basic scripts. He walks, he, he sees a pretty girl, he goes out and he doesn't have any money, or, or whatever. Basic right. you know, scenarios, but you have to, you know, put that hmm. woo woo into it, that bomb. Okay, so I, I I kind of pick up what you're putting down, and I don't want to like, you know, misspeak for you. But it seems that you're saying that the level of talent back then, at least that was being brought in, was at a different level that maybe it is today. I mean, I don't, I don't know. Maybe, maybe that talent hasn't been found because they haven't done, done sitcoms. So maybe that guy is not found. I shouldn't say that. But back in the day, you would get a sitcom based on what they saw. You know what mm. I mean? So they saw right. you as an interviewer, man, who did that and did that. Then you are, your sitcom is based on about an interviewer who interviews comedians, but on the side, is giving mm. his girlfriend to have a coffee shop. You know, they know it's right. going to work if you're a bad mother. You know what I mean? Wow, that's, no, that's, that gives me a vantage point because I've heard the different narratives, you know, definitely people that are listening to this will think about like some things are done deliberately especially if it's uplifting the community. We always talk about the man, the system, kind of plotting on us, not trying to give us the tools to uplift ourselves. So I've heard that angle too. On why those black sitcoms may have disappeared. Uh, funny is funny, if you're gonna make them some money, they put it on. 